Hi, my name is Filippo. I'm originally from a little town near Venice in Italy, and I'm a first year PhD student in neurobiology. I was always a curious kid. Growing up, I remember looking at the night sky uh, during the summer, wondering about the beyond, the undiscovered planets and stars. And then I discovered that there are more synaptic connections in our brain than there are stars in the Milky Way. That's the first time I felt that spark, that passion that drives me to do my research every day. So I'm really interested in how transport works inside the cell. I don't know if you ever play Jenga, but it's a really fun game. And when you remove or disturb a block in Jenga, it's possible that the whole tower collapses. And it's not so different from what we see in a wide spectrum of neuromuscular diseases where there's a genetic mutation or there's too little protein being expressed inside the cell and then the whole tower collapses. So I want to make a difference in the world and I see my research leading up to new therapeutic approaches one day to help children and adults affected by neuromuscular diseases. I came to the UK to do my bachelor's degree in biomedical sciences and I met some really great people in Liverpool who were willing to believe in me. So in, in, in the second year of my bachelor's degree, I was fortunate enough to participate in the Euro European Space Agency student competition in space medicine. And that really did merge my two passions for space and for medicine and biology. And, and that was such a great experience. I remember I used to come out of the lecture theaters and run to the lab so that I could make those discoveries and that didn't go unnoticed. I managed to publish my first paper in my bachelor's degree. I, I was so proud of that. And then the head of the School of Life Sciences nominated me to become the valedictorian of the university last year in 2022 for the graduation ceremonies. I, I really do feel like the people here at Liverpool and Liverpool University have given me a voice. After that, my honours project supervisor offered me uh, to interview for a PhD in neurodegeneration here at the university and it just felt right and I felt ready. And so I just went right into it and, and so here I am. I feel part of multiple communities here in Liverpool. What is really great is that I was able to find other Italians with which I could you know, speak my own language and spend time with. But that's what's so great about doing a PhD here is that it, it connects you to a, a big network of people. I feel like there's many options out there after a PhD, for sure. I'd really like to combine my two passions for medicine and biology together and be able to help patients more closely. Research is the backstage of what goes on in a hospital, what, what goes on in a patient's life. I want to be able to prevent that Jenga block from falling out. I want to prevent the tower from falling. And so, yeah, I want to defeat and slow down your degeneration one day. That's my main goal.